Um, and we're going to do a series of videos now about the um, domestic cold water, domestic hot water and central heating. Um, the first of those videos is going to be about the outside stopcock, the mains stopcock to your supply as it goes in your house. You should have no need to be messing about with this. Um, I'm not a plumber, I don't know everything about this, so I've brought um, Rob in today to, to help us with any questions that I might not know the answer to. Uh, let's hope he knows the answer yeah. to. Um, but this is the first thing. So this is a, a new kind of system. Um, you'll, you'll find these in the newer houses from what, 20 years ago? 15. 15, 15 years ago. Um, the meter, the, there's a water meter that you can see down at the bottom and a small plastic key. I'm gonna get down here um, to show you. Don't worry if you pull this out, it's meant to come out. Um, it slots back down into a hexagonal um, receiver and that simply operates as a tap. On this particular one, it's about four and a half turns to turn it off. Once you've turned it off, turn it back just a, a tiny little bit um, until water starts dripping so that it makes sure that if it jams in the off position you've still got a little bit of play and that applies to all valves indoors we'll go over that again um, but that's how you turn it off these things um, generally they're found in the road um, this one we're quite lucky it's, it's on the property because it's got a meter within it um, we'll sh show you a nice close-up of that and you can see the meter and the key Um, on the newer ones, we, again, we've been quite lucky here. On the newer ones, you'll find a polystyrene bung that simply slides in there and stops the, the tap and the meter getting covered in tarmac and gravel and dirt. And then sometimes we've seen glass and all sorts of things fall down in this hole. So this, if it's still around, is gonna protect that. The lid simply slots into the top. And in this case, um, a small square of slab is put over there. It's removable, so it gives access to that. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people just concrete straight over it or gravel over it or whatever without leaving an indication as to where it can be found. So it's really, really important that you've got access to this hole. Um, if when you found your outside stopcock, if it doesn't look like that, the chances are it will have one of two other types of tap in it. The older types have either a square plug um, and this key is dropped down into the hole and the handle is used to turn the plug on and off in the same way and this simply slots over some of the much older ones where it's just simply a cross head tap. Just a single tap handle that goes over the handle and is used to turn that on and off. If you can't get hold of one of these, an effective way of doing it is to get a piece of wood three or four inches wide and cut a V in the wood, drop the V over the handle and use the wood to turn the tap off. Okay, that's if you haven't got the correct keys. So that's how you turn, how you control the water coming into your property. We'll tell you about what happens once it's in there as soon as we get indoors. Um, it's a bit nippy out here, so let's go and do it.